it's been about six weeks, I think, since the last update when I had been uh, ripping at the floor here in the second vaulted cellar. And uh, in between that time, yeah, I've been tapping away at it, kind of a couple of hours, uh, not every evening. Uh, I was away for a week and whatever, but uh, keeping it kind of going along steady. And I'm sick at the moment, as you can hear by my voice, so uh, I'm not really that inclined to do anything. Uh, but I got the floor up, I used a sledgehammer to break up the stones that I couldn't lift. And um, I think I said before that that's no harm really. We'll use the bits uh, to build a wall out in the back garden and stuff. So they're fine big stones for building with now. Uh, but really what was done so far now is this wall has been fully repointed. Uh, so it was out with the, the wire brush. Uh, scrubbing all the stones and scraping out uh, the, the mortar between them and then doing the repointing. So this wall is completely done. I'm quite pleased how it came out. Uh, the back wall has been done up to the height of the top of the alcove there. And um, it's still a bit dark down there because when it's been raining, the water still seeps through the uh, truss cement uh, mortar. Uh, so yeah, it's open, it's not sealing it. And as I mentioned before, we need to do something behind the house really to, to kind of solve that permanently. And then uh, earlier in this week, I did the lower half of this wall. And uh, the top half uh, is going to be plastered. So I'm just going to roughly fill the holes that are there and then plaster that with a, a lime based uh, plaster. Uh, so the only thing really to do now is to... Uh, uh, I did those stones, clean them a bit and pulled out the, the loose mortar. That little bit has to be repointed. And uh, then the ceiling has to be uh, plastered also. So basically filling the gaps roughly and then using this insulating plaster uh, to kind of stop the heat coming down from the uh, floor heating in the kitchen above. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with progress. Like I said, it's been slow. Uh, it's like meditation doing this kind of work. So all those little stones and all that, it's... Uh, just put on the music and just go at it for a couple of hours and uh, you know get a few meters done and uh, once that's finished which won't take long uh, and the plastering and all that then we have to move on to the floor so that means digging this stuff out to around maybe 30 centimeters depth um, not going deeper than the foundation uh, so I'm sure we found the foundation level uh, at the back of the cellar there and um, yeah then fill it with, uh, with with gravel and then broken or uh, stone chips and I'm looking at the moment for um, basically bricks so I can floor it exactly like the other cellar uh, so it's nice and breathable if I can't find uh, old bricks I'm not going to buy them new they're too expensive really and uh, they don't have that kind of nice patina and feel to it that I want in here uh, then I'll go with something else but let's just see where we go but uh, yeah progress has been made